Well, just this summer, Purdue's College of Engineering announced the formation of the Institute of Hard AI, which the university says positions Purdue as a national leader in artificial intelligence at the interface of the virtual and physical world. But artificial intelligence is already driving equipment today in the agriculture world. And as John Phipps tells us, it's nearly impossible to grasp it until you see what it produces firsthand. Fair season is winding down with its images of earnest young men and women leading impeccably groomed animals into a show ring. At least that's what pops to mind for many of us in agriculture. But other stuff goes on at fairs, and this year at the Colorado State Fair, there was a bombshell event seemingly unconnected to farming. And you're looking at it. This is the first place entry in the digital art division. The title is Space Opera Theater, only in French, which I would hopelessly mangle. I know it looks like a slick science fiction book cover, but the uproar is over how it came to be. Using an artificial intelligence program called Mid Journey, artist Jason Allen of Pueblo, Colorado, created this image without making a brush stroke or a pencil line. He just entered some carefully chosen text into the program and then took an image to be printed on canvas. While the picture may not be your preferred type of art, such AI programs can tackle styles and subjects from impressionism to portraiture. In fact, they are doing so with rapidly increasing skill, originality, and acclaim. Using a process called diffusion, the program somehow matches the text with millions of online images into a mashup that has the art world flummoxed and artists terrified. One reason is while we could kind of imagine AI taking over sophisticated factory automation and lately even complex management tasks like hiring, we have considered the mystical skills of creative work like art or music beyond the reach of computers. This picture is early proof that assumption may not be completely valid. While AI works essentially by trial and error on a massive scale, it can learn to pick out those very few results that people connect with, just like it sorts resumes with remarkable success to find the right people to hire. AI is also muscling into creative fields like writing. You have probably already read a computer-generated newspaper story, especially on the sports or financial pages. AI is even being used to write humor, a very troubling development. As the programs keep improving, which they do so on their own, the output is slipping unnoticed into more and more creative fields, such as fashion design, for example. Now, I'm going to talk more about how AI might surprise us in ag, but we probably won't believe it until, like Colorado fairgoers, we see it with our own eyes on our own farms. Thanks, John. Well, we're sticking to right here in Indiana for this week's Tractor Tales. Machine Repeat has it next.